Season 2 Medium Carnivorous Dinosaurs Gala Thialia Ramus Team Worker Scientific name Allia Ramus Period Late Cretaceous Fossils found in Mongolia, Asia Description Allia Ramus A tyrannosaur had a slim body and a long nose Five peculiar bony knobs grew above his nose Do you remember the long-snouted Chanjosaurus? This Panachia rex had a strange look that would surely make a strong impression on anyone. But have you seen an Allioramus? Allioramus, another long-snouted Tyrannosaur, looked like the Chanjosaurus. Allioramus and Chanjosaurus lived far away. The former lived in present-day Mongolia, while the latter in present-day Jiangxi Province, China. Their similarities suggested that long-snouted tyrannosaurs were widely distributed in where we now call Asia. Eliaramus's nose was long, with a row of five strange and conspicuous bony crests, which were more than one centimeter tall. These bony crests were not large or hard enough to be used as weapons, which must have been a disappointment for Eliaramus. It was no surprise that Eliaramus were keen to own a weapon, because their neighbors were a strong tyrannosaur. The Tarbosaurus. The well known Tarbosaurus was about 12 meters long. It had a large head and a white mouth, powerful hind legs, and sharp claws. It could prey on Namectosaurus, a giant sauropod. Living with these competitors, Eliaramus needed to have skills to compete for limited prey, and more importantly, to avoid being preyed upon by them. This Eliaramus, named Gela, woke up stretched, and was about to rally its companions to hunt. Its sides, six meters long, was unremarkable for a hunter. It had a narrow head and a long nose. Sometimes, it would open its big mouth trying to scare away competitors. But its flat, thin teeth were not particularly strong or terrifying, making its scaring tactic ineffective. Tarbosaurus had short forelimbs, but if Gallo looked at his own, these were not any longer. Its hind legs were strong and powerful, but not as strong as Tarbosaurus's. Its tail, long and strong, could attack prey like a whip, but was still no match for the Tarbosaurus's thicker version. Gala the Eliaramus felt discouraged. A companion was sounding Gala out. They found their prey, a huge Namectosaurus that has wandered astray. Gala immediately recovered from his daydream. When that stopped, he quickly turned around to join his companions, closing on his prey. Teamwork was effective and powerful. The fight took some time, but was finally victorious, and the catch was enough to feed them for several days. Hey, wasn't cooperation their best weapon? Not giants? but they were definitely not weaklings. They could move swiftly in teams. Their tactics worked fine, and most of the time, they succeeded in getting catches. Their prey included the gigantic sauropods, helmet-wearing Prinocephaly, and was less frequently the gigantic, sickle-wielding Theracinosaurus, none of which was an easy target. But with the help of companions, Gala found that hunting these bigger targets was possible. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Join our writer Miss Yang Yang and artist Mr. Zhao Chuang and start this fantasy journey.